who created the first calendar and how did they know where to start? The short answer is no single person did. Calendars emerged gradually as early civilizations tried to make sense of time by observing the natural world. Long before written history, humans noticed repeating patterns. The cycle of day and night, the phases of the moon, and the changing seasons, these patterns were essential for survival. Knowing when to plant crops, migrate, or prepare for winter meant the difference between life and death. Timekeeping began as observation, not invention. One of the earliest known calendar systems came from ancient Mesopotamia around 5,000 years ago. The Sumerians used the moon to track time, creating lunar months based on its phases. Around the same period, ancient Egyptians developed a solar calendar after noticing that the annual flooding of the Nile coincided with the rising of a particular star, Sirius. This event marked the start of their year and helped them predict agricultural cycles. So how did they decide where to start the calendar? The starting point was usually tied to something meaningful and repeatable. For some cultures, it was a natural event like a solstice, equinox, or a seasonal flood. For others, it was a religious or a political moment, such as the reign of a king or a mythological creation story. There was no universal year one. Each society chose a beginning that mattered to them. Over time, calendars became more refined. The Romans introduced versions that eventually led to the Julian calendar, which was later corrected into the Gregorian calendar we use today. Even then, the starting point, based loosely on the birth of Jesus, was chosen for cultural and religious reasons, not because time itself began there. In the end, calendars are less about discovering when time started and more about agreeing on how to measure it. Humans didn't find a beginning of time. They chose one, turning natural cycles into a shared system that helps us organize life, history, and meaning.